You are listening to Dot W Talk Radio for the Underground Church in the West. It's all going on, Pastor Tim. You have discipled me in the art of snacking. Talk about something really important because this Sunday. Did I leave the lights on again? My car outside? <laughs> yeah, your car will be dead by this end. Yeah. The Christian must live where the next event on the calendar is the return of Christ. over for a weekend isn't necessarily the work of mercy of opening your home. Correct. Yeah. Now, if you had my parents over for the weekend, or, now, um, the, um, it's, it's, it's not just choosing who we want and doing it in a way that is, is comfortable to us. It's seeing our home as the center place for ministry. So, for example, Pastor Tim, to use an example from your own life, I know that you hosted folks at your house uh, who are interested in the dot W model. That's typically what happens when people come to town and are interested in that model. You invite them into your home. You kind of peel back the curtain, so to speak, and you do family worship or household worship with them uh, so that they can see that how that works with your children. You host them in a meal and you're doing that in Christ's name. These are people who are visiting. All of those things are ways that we do the word. Uh, but typically, I think if we if what we hosted was our relatives and things like that, Jesus would say, well, what good is that? Even the pagans do that. Well, you made a good point, actually, in looking at the, the Greek word for hospitality. Mm -hmm that one of the, the meanings is the love of strangers. Yes, that's correct. So, so hospitality is very different than the Martha Stewart hospitality. Uh, this is not simply us um, folding the, the corner of the bed down, putting the chocolate on it, doing all the things that make people say, this was really a nice touch. Uh, but it is showing love and compassion to strangers uh, when we see people that are without a home. You know, we were um, just got back from Korea and we were talking to uh, when we were in China talking to one of the people who hosts our, our, our farthest forward base uh, to, for North Koreans who come from China either on a work visa or a relative visa. And so um, we were talking to the, the person who runs the base and what happens is that that, that base manager will go out and they'll see people, uh, for example, coming out of customs who look clearly confused or unclear about where they're going and the base manager will go up to them and invite them to come and stay at the discipleship base. And so this discipleship base manager has a love of strangers. Uh, we have a fear of strangers. And so people say, well, I don't know about inviting people to my own home, that could be dangerous. That's why it takes practice. That's why we have to learn. We have to learn from the people who do it well. But yes, that is the expectation, not just that we're giving money to stay at the hotel for the night, but that we are using our home as a basis for ministry and that it is very regular and very common. Our children should see us bringing people into our homes. They should grow up with that sense. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. You've been listening to Dot W Talk Radio, where we reflect together on how to hear and how to do the Word of God. If you'd like to submit your question to Pastor Foley and Pastor Tim, you can go ahead and email us. Submit your question to feedback at dotheword.org. For more information on the Dot W Discipleship Groups, visit dotheword.org. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll look forward to joining you again next week. Hear the word. Do the word. Dot W.